You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Baby Daddy After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Baby Daddy After Show. These boots are made for walking. Hi guys, welcome to Baby Daddy Season 3, Episode 18, Baby Stats. I'm your host, Annika Michelle, and with me is my wonderful co-host... Andreas Skwordos, a.k.a. Greek Casanova. His, I feel like you say your Greek Casanova name more than you say Andreas. Yeah, I'm pitching that. It's going to be a title of my... Plugging it in. It's going to be my memoir in 20 years. Yeah, I like it. Memoir of a Greek Casanova. Yeah. Speaking of Greeks... <laughs> the the Greek that founded this network, Miss Maria Menounos, the hottest Greek at AfterBuzz. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. She's got another book coming out. She, it's already out. Oh, it's out. It's right. A, it's a follow up. Yes, it's called the Every Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness, and it is out right now in stores. You guys all need to go. It's not out right now, but it's coming out. So you guys all have to go get it when it comes out. Um, go and listen to what Maria has to say about the book. Yeah, she looks stunning on the cover. By oh the way. Oh my God, amazing! Wow. You're drooling. Hey guys, Maria Menounos here, and I want to share my newest book, The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness with you. Basically, every woman always stops me and asks me how I lost 40 pounds, so I decided to put it all in one book. Everything I did to lose 40 pounds step by step, and how you can too is in here. I did it with no time, no money, and no willpower, and now I'm going to show you how to do it too. You can pre-order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, wherever books are sold, and it's out June 3rd, so I hope you guys love it. I hope it helps you in your weight loss journey, and please, please tweet me and update me on your progress at Maria Menounos. Thanks. So you heard her talk about it for a second. It's out June 3rd. You guys all need to pre-order it, get it. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It looks amazing. That was very dramatic music in the background. <laughs> she lost 40 pounds. That's she ridiculous. She looks amazing. I mean, she, she went looks... from flab to fab. <laughs> Thank isn't you, that Andreas. They, isn't that how they say That's it how they the say it. That's how they say it in this industry. She's got a, like, her six pack is like comparable ridiculous. to situations. So, you know, I'm probably going to get this book. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Hopefully the diet consists of more than just an apple because that's what she's holding in the. No, she eats healthy. All right. Well, it's going to be a good book. So make sure you guys all check it out and get it. I'm gonna I get can't it. wait to read this. Hopefully she'll autograph it. I already have the first book. So this is going to be fun to like read the second one and go through like this part of her life and get to know that part, you know? Yeah. And the photos are worth Amazing. the purchase. It's all color. It's awesome. It is awesome. He's distracted by... <laughs> okay, back to uh, Baby Daddy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Baby Steps. Yeah, I don't know. This was, like, all flashback episode, and I feel like they probably shot, like... I feel like the, like, writers the week before really hung over, <laughs> and they decided, like, oh, maybe now would be a good week to have a flashback episode. And, like, not do. <laughs> and it's crazy because <laughs> all the actors got paid their episodic, probably, so it's, mm -hmm. like, I mean, they barely had to work. I mean, no. how much actual like new footage was in this episode I think say? five maybe, minutes five. not even yeah it was like two minutes in the beginning like maybe a minute and a half or something at the end yeah so the, like, the, those of you who've watched the episode probably most of you because you're a fan of baby daddy and you're and listening us. to us yeah <laughs> um the, the episode was called baby steps and it was mm -hmm. about emma's first steps i remember my first step do you no oh <laughs> is that even possible i don't know i, I don't remember mine what was your first memory um, wow, that's a good one. I don't know. Uh, my first memory, that's a hard question. What was your first memory, Maria? Maria. <laughs> There's another Maria. Maria. What? Marissa. Maria. What? Oh, I'm my distracted. Goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I remember being at an airport and sitting on a very dark green bench. How old were you? I you was think? three. Aww. Yeah. What airport? Um, O'Hare. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. Are you a Chicago girl? I'm from Illinois, yes. Oh, cool. Holla. 
Are you a Cubs fan or a Sox fan? I am neither. Oh, okay. That's well, cool. you tried. <laughs> Go Blackhawks. What was your first yeah. memory? Honestly, I don't remember my first memory. Yeah. Um, I remember I have a lot of scattered memories from when I was a baby. Uh, a lot of them consisting of falling, <laughs> eating, and getting yelled at yes. by strangers. By strangers, not you, your parents? No, because I grew up in Greece for my first five years. So... <laughs> It's a lot different lifestyle up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teachers, like, could hate you. So I remember that. And then I had my G.I. Joe's thrown away. So it wasn't the best. That's the saddest. Yeah. But whatever. That's the past. This is the present. This is the present. We're going on through it. So, yeah. I mean, Emma takes her first baby steps. She does. And uh, Ben is not there to witness it. No. Which, I mean, you can't always be there. No. You miss some things. But I like how they... In this episode, they, you know, they really cared about they wanting Ben to be there because this yeah. is like, I think when your baby takes child takes its first steps, when it like utters its first word, first day of school, these are like pivotal moments in a child's life, and you obviously want everybody wants to be a part of that. So the fact that, you know, they try to, uh, <laughs> you know, make it happen again and act like it was the first time it did that was. That was cool. It was cool, but I just thought, like, in this day and age, I mean, they should have taken a video because that was her actual first steps. But I guess they wanted Ben to feel like he saw the first time, you know? Yeah, I feel like with the progression of, like, technology, everybody has a really nice video camera yeah. on their cell phone. And it feels like if something's going to happen, somebody's going to have to really yeah. high-definition footage of it. But, I mean... There wouldn't have been an episode if that was the That's case. That's very true. So it's very true. We'll give them that one. But I, that was sweet of them. And then she did walk to um, Ben at the end, so it was really cute. And he he has no idea that they yeah already saw her her walk to Danny before. So I found this to be a really interesting episode because it was a flashback episode. So yeah. there's already been three seasons of Baby Daddy. They're gonna yeah. go do another fourth season, and we're talking about <laughs> this. We're watching it together <laughs> earlier. Um, every season, obviously, they've used a different set of twins. Okay. And I feel like the twins have progressively gotten better looking. They gotten cuter. Yeah, because I remember the flashback of the first episode, the pilot episode, and I was like, oh my God, that baby is not attractive. Because I'm so used to looking the, at the new, the twins, new twins, twins that are just that the forgot. cutest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So uh, it was weird because every flashback basically was a baby flashback. So the baby just looked different in every scene. Yeah. And I, I, I'm sure viewers probably noticed that too because, you know, as they watch, like, the, you know, there's a hiatus in between every season, and every yeah. season they have a new set of twins, so they don't really notice it as distinctly. The baby's changing, uh, but I feel like in this episode they probably because they're all next to each other. Yeah, you see them all quickly. So, but yeah, if they're an avid fan, I for sure think that they notice. One of the flashbacks, I have to point this out. I think <laughs> I pointed. Of, you did point oh, it out. One? You did. You oh, did point no, it that's out. Awesome. But one of the flashbacks, um, as they're walking through New York Street, Mr. Andreas right here. Uh, yeah. His first time, because you guys all know he does extra work on the show. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> if you see him creep story, like wall, <laughs> creepily <laughs> looking at I'm the I'm starting actors. to get a fan base. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only background actor. artist with fans. <laughs> <laughs> but like this time when they were walking through New York Street, Derek and Taj, oh my god, uh Danny and Danny Tucker, Tucker and Ben. And ben. There it was go, like the you. scene from uh Hangover. Hangover when they're all walking through and then like Which was probably one of my favorite scenes from every episode thus far on Baby yeah. Daddy. It's a cool scene. They I like all it. looked really freaking cool. And the baby with the glasses, it's so Yeah, cute. fun fact, that stroller was like two or three thousand dollars. It was not. Yeah, it was. I asked. So that, that was the first, so that was the first episode on Baby Daddy that I worked background, and it was, uh... And he comes out creepily down the stairs, oh, yeah. and as the actors are walking, he's, like, looking at I look over, back, I look like, like a pedophile. A I look like a pedophile, basically. It's like, Derek and Taj, and then Andres' head in the middle in the background. Yeah, I'm like, sup, guys? It looked like a weird Axe commercial. It's so funny. Um, no, the funny thing about that was, uh, Baby Daddy films at CBS Radford, which they filmed Seinfeld, which is, like, one of the most successful shows of all time so that street that they're walking down is new york street and that's where they film like seinfeld and stuff like yeah, that so yeah. all the exteriors and all that jazz so it was cool what was your best uh favorite flashback of this episode i liked there was a lot um what was, what was your like top three okay i like the one okay i just thought this was funny this had nothing to do with the baby but Tosh just made me laugh with the lamb oh <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> he yeah. had to go get the like la the lamby lamby that's what it was yeah. called yeah I had to go get the lamb back for Emma and then like he stuffs it in his pants because the girl comes back and then like goes bah and like his, his fan base went up <laughs> yeah his fan base went a lot if you didn't know that he had stuffed that in his pants like say he left the bed <laughs> left the room to grab a you're bite like, to eat Whoa. in the kitchen he came back you're like Taj damn <laughs> following him on Instagram. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was funny. And then the, the, the lamb made that sound. Yeah, whatever. like in his crotch. Yeah, <laughs> it was that was weird. good. So that was one of your favorites. That was one of mine. What was one of yours? I like when they're betting on the baby to roll over to the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Gambling and babies are always fun. Um, what else? I also liked, even though they didn't show half of this part, um, I liked it when Riley comes to the bar holding the baby, like, licking a mess, and Antonio Banderas is... Uh, I forgot his character name, but he's sitting there. Oh, Antonio Sabato Jr., not Banderas. Was like an, wow, it's like <laughs> the budget. Wrong raising the stake. We had Antonio Banderas, so we don't even. <laughs> Wrong Antonio, Antonio Sabato Jr. And uh, Gerard, that's who he was. Gerard. And um, she was like, oh my God, why don't you tell me Gerard's going to be here? Let me go change. And then when she goes to change, she actually comes out looking really cute. And Derek's like, oh, you can do this in two minutes? Why does it take you guys two hours? Yeah. It, it, I like what, that. Slash well, I think baby. what we both noticed too is like, Derek and our Ben and Danny, like throughout the seasons, their look hasn't really changed that much. No, the same clothes, same. But style. Chelsea, it's like Chelsea is like the Jennifer Aniston Rachel of this show because yeah. her hairstyle is changing every season. You think so? Yeah, it's completely different, and she's had so many different styles. She's had it like kind of pulled back. Oh, she's yeah, had yeah. like she's had like three or four different styles since we've known her. And if you check out her Instagram, which I recommend you do, because <laughs> she posts all sorts of cool things. She actually dyed her hair brown. She did. She's a brunette now, but I yeah. like it. She's rocking it. Yeah, she's rocking the brunette look. So yeah, she had pink hair for a while. I remember that. Yeah, girls could change up their hairstyle a lot more. So easily. And guys, guys don't really have that many options. I think you do though. You have like hipster look. <laughs> Faux hawk, mohawk, madman, okay, no hawk, what? skinhead. What are these names? You can grow. I know. I'm, Buzz I'm, cut. I'm trademarking you know, all, all of these them. names. But like women have a lot. But I mean, I like how her hair is short, but they still do a lot with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They still style it in a way that you wouldn't even realize that it's short. Yeah, my favorite's like when it's kind of messy. Yeah. Just to let you know. That's my favorite. <laughs> we need to get her on the show. If hair and makeup is listening, <laughs> Andreas. The messy look is where it's at. <laughs> Riley's messy hair. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, Ben basically wears the same outfit every day. I think that's what same we decided. Same every time. Same, same thing, like shoes. a shirt and like it's a like button up over it. Button up denim with jeans. Yeah. And then Derek Oh, um Took off that his was, shirt. Yeah, they had a flashback <laughs> of Danny's first topless scene. I'm sure all you ladies probably rewinded Street. that a few times. In case you don't remember, he has abs. Oh, he does. Probably because you read Maria Menounos' <laughs> book. But he has, like, you know, more than a six pack going on there. Yeah. I didn't think that was possible, but it is. It's I thought possible. the human anatomy only had six <laughs> abdominal muscles, but apparently Derek's a freaking nature. He's so tall that they had to add two more rows of abs yeah. to his midsection. You know, and no one's complaining about it. Not yet. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no one's complaining. What else about this episode stood out to you? Um, I liked how Bonnie, of course, like all the times that they would use the baby to try to get dates. Yeah. So I feel like the baby's been used a lot to pick up things. and Women people. things. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was really funny when they were trying to get the baby in the class. Oh, remember? yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, we have we totally get on the list. We haven't had any biracial gay couples. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we definitely raise a baby together. Yeah. So that was funny. I like how they play that out. I like the elf who was hitting on um, Bonnie, who was like, if you want a good time, you can meet me in the gingerbread house in 20 minutes. And she was like, well, that's the best offer I had all week. <laughs> yeah, she's, <laughs> oh my she, gosh, she's hilarious. Bonnie. And then when she's talking like a valley girl when she's in jail. Yeah, that was funny with yeah, Riley. I like that too. And the, the cop was hilarious too. I forgot how to funny shut it up. was. Yeah. yeah. Um, how many episodes are left in the oh season? Gosh. Uh, I think like three or something. We're at, we're at night 18 this week, so then 19 into 22. So it's crazy. It flew by fast. Yeah, time's flying. I liked it, but your favorite is coming back next week. Are you so excited? Oh, it's Georgie. Yeah, that was a horrible accent. I call I call her Mallory. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're on well, first. We're on, we're first, on first name, first name basis, basis right now. I'm just kidding. Right, you fed her. You brought her uh, treats. <laughs> yeah, I, that was amazing. We need to get her back on the show. Well, just so we can stare at her. I mean, you can stare at her. Oh, yeah. She's cute. <laughs> like, he's well, turning red. No, it's just really hot in the studio. Oh Calm God. down. I don't blush. Oh but uh, next week, we're going to get... We're going to have a special guest on next week. Yeah. 
for sure? Stay is this tuned like, to find out. Like... I think it's pretty for sure. You guys okay. will all want to stay in and watch. We're not going to tell you who it is yet. Yeah. It's going to be a they surprise. They probably won't know who she is anyways. I think they will. I think avid diehard fans will know who it is. Okay. That's a little clue for you right there. Yeah. It's uh, the brains behind the operation. We'll yeah. Just, that'll be your first hint. And I'm sure there's many of backstage secrets and stories to come out. Yeah, so that's something to look forward to. It'll be fun. Anything else about the episode? No, I mean, it was literally all flashbacks. Do you have anything to add? Um, no, I'm trying to think. Hmm. <laughs> this is me thinking. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's going on. Okay, no Good. worries. Well, we'll get to next week. All right. And next week will be probably longer because we'll have somebody We'll have us. more to talk about. Yeah. I mean. I'm excited. Just like this episode, it was short and sweet. So. Exactly. Done and done. Done and done. Thanks, guys, for watching anyway. Tell them where they can find you. You guys can find me on Instagram at Greek Casanova. And you can find... Annika. <laughs> on my website, AnnikaMichelle.com, Instagram, AnnikaMichelle1, and my Twitter, at Annika underscore Michelle. All right, and don't forget to get Miranda Muniz's new book. Pre-order it, get it. The Every Girl's Guide to Diet and Fitness. She's ripped, and you can be also if you read her book. It's very true. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here. And be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.